I'm going to make really easy lunch today for us. It's fish curry and it took me less than two minutes to do this little bit of preparation. I know that because Gordon was cleaning his teeth upstairs and the toothbrush lasts for two minutes. <laughs> so I was racing against it and I beat him easily. So this is a piece of back of cod. Um, this is a good fish to use because it's, um, it's one of those fish that can't be farmed. The only problem is with cod is that um, it's getting rarer for some reason. Um, so I do try and ask for the sustainable fish. So what's going in with it? Well, I'm going to put this tin of coconut milk and I don't know what this is now because I know it's for fish and I got it from the Spice Man from the market. I'm not 100% sure what it is. But anyway, we're going to put his fish spices and when I see him today on this, oh, I can see there's thyme and, yeah, herbs mainly, I would think. But to spice it up and make it curry, I've got my curry mix. So this is two spoonfuls of this, turmeric, salt, pepper, paprika, cumin, ginger. And they're all going in this lovely mix. But, you know, this is my get well diet. Do find out, explore the lovely spices that you might like. So this gets poured in. Then I've got some vegetables. So I've cut up a sweet potato, didn't bother to peel it. I did peel the carrot and I've got 12 ladies fingers or okra. Um, so these are all going in now. You can have a look at that maybe. I've got one chopped red onion, usually makes me cry. I've got one peeled and chopped carrot. One not peeled and chopped up sweet potato. And finally, I've got some mushrooms, but I'm going to pop them in a bit later with some broccoli and cauliflower because they go a bit soft. So that's it. All done. I'm off to have my coffee. Bon appétit. So we've been out today and the fish curry has been slow cooking and it smells lovely. Um, to have with it, I don't eat rice anymore because it's a grain, because it upsets my gut. But I found a great alternative, and it's this, millet. Now, I used to think millet was just bird seed, but this just sucks up all the water, like couscous, um, and then it's really lovely and um, creamy to eat. Um, it's got in it things like manganese um, and magnesium. Um, it's great for lowering blood pressure. Uh, good against type 2 diabetes. The, the, the list is huge of the benefits of this little tiny grain. And all I do for mine is I do two tablespoons, sorry, one tablespoon per person and then cover it with water. So this is millet and it's gluten free, um, won't do you any harm. Um, have a look, research it on the internet yourself. It's really worth having. And look, now all the water has more or less been taken up by that. So then I'm just going to plonk that on the plate in place of the rice. This 
really good for scraping out, get every bit out so you don't waste any. So that's my alternative for rice. And now we have the slow cooked fish curry. When I came back from a cycle out this morning, I popped in um, some broccoli and some cauliflower and some mushrooms. So these have all cooked lovely in the sauce. Broccoli, cauliflower. And then we've got the okra with the fish and the mushrooms and some sweet potato and this really lovely sauce. going to be delicious. So I try to eat just that size of protein. For me that's your palm size each day. So I'm not having too much of the fish. Gordon likes it though. And there we are, look there's enough there for four. I always cook too much. Didn't look a lot did it? and a little bit of the sauce. There we are, slow cooked fish curry. <laughs> Even I can make it, bon appetit.